give us the strength and ability to do bhajan and surrender unto his holy feet.
to sannyas from him. Sannyas is not only uh, merely a formula. It gets worse. Gopi moved to Sai. So he took sannyas. And then, by the order of his Prabhupada, and by doing it, after taking sannyas, he at once left for America because he told them that he was And after that, he did not tell them that he was in India. And he came first in India, she called her, Boston. And then, and there he used to sing Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Hare Nityananda, Hare Krishna. Only with his own kata, alone, oh, closing his house with teeth. So many hippies were attracted. And they began to sing his name. Sometimes they used to give him wine and so many things. <laughs> but after some time, he did become happy and he decided one of the things. No? Oh, she is also here. <laughs> <laughs> His husband also, what the soul? Absolutely. Oh, very lovely and small. So all Kamal Krishna and so many went to the room. And a couple of years he established everywhere. So many preaching centers, established temples, established deities there. And he translated first volume of Gita, three only chapters. And then Oh, Gita. Then after that, other things. Krishna. Krishna. Yeah. He used to write me letters. Then I now have more than 300 books, letters. Oh, so accurate. Accurate. And then the printing about all over the whole world. All Europe, America, South America, go oh, here in the midst of the ocean. Many parts of India I see it in and in the whole world. They have in Amazon, Amazon, forests also, or in Sarnavati. And very soon it is all, all were attracted. Then those who are coming nowadays in this movement, only due to reading his books or hearing his clothes, I think that oh, even boys are come to me, but only why they are coming to me? Because he has told that we have eternal, transcendental relief. And in the last, when he was only one, two days uh, a yes. uh, west of this world, and he was going to let this world, he called me and then come up the idea. And he took my hands and began to read and requested me, you must help my people. I have brought so many, so many. In Bengali he told one thing, but I could not find him. Oh, I requested you that you should help to be a good people. I have given so many sannyasi, sannyasi. But I'm not wealthy. 
and one thing go with your own hand you should get my samadhi and by that festival of last set festival I did. I told, told, don't play on. I will do some with my. Also, at that time, one Maharaj and others they decided to support what they were doing. So many. But why he selected me? I don't. That is useful. And I did. He also requested. Oh, try to forget. Forgive me for my offences that I have done. Sometimes in preaching, I had done something and told something which was not to be told. <laughs> so you should forgive me and I God brother should be because my this is lost. I told that you have done nothing for me. For running, giving running, giving time, giving time, giving time. So I made old song, but really it was not good to see the terror. He often smeared us. Then he, after me, oh, he never spoke to anyone. And in the midnight I heard that. Again they came and they took me there to the great festival in Dagarshan Kirtan with him. In all Vrindavan, especially in seven Goswami temples, uh, Radha Damodar, Radha Sham Sundar, Radha Ram, Radha Gopula Sundar, uh, Radha Gopula uh, Sham Sundar, and Govinda Gopinath Madhun. There are seven established out by your Goswami. So. When he was living with the new builder, and he came and then said, first of all, so I want to follow his life. He has given so much. He was so merciful that a person not qualified, more than nurtured than a straw, a straw, but he inspired. And that is why I am going to help people and preaching and they are doing that. Only to the mercy of your two people are my, my two relations or three relations. <laughs> he is my Sikhya Guru. He is my junior in Sanyas. Sanyas God Mother. <laughs> And try to taste the father. He used to roll the chapati that I used to, and then he used to do with ghee and both after offering. At that time he was penning it. Penning. There is no good cross or anything. So when I used to go, I used to give my chadar and this group to sit down. And to discuss. So we should be merciful more to you also to me also that we should be very strong to do this and preach his mission of the Gaur Prana Hariyo Krishna Thank mm-hmm. you.
discuss about Guru Tattva. Very expert. Oh, so many are here. 
by request passed Sri Padmanam Maharaj to speak some words of Guru Tattva. Why you came late? Always late. <laughs> He was helping some devotees, Maharaj, oh. that's why it's urgent. Not now. <laughs> At the time of class. He's associating with... He, he should help me. I'm <laughs> 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 bringing more people to your lower speaker it is. <laughs> <laughs> if he will be the speaker... <laughs> Place is small. <laughs> if anyone can have no seat, they can come here. My room, that room also. You should not stand there. You should come here. also understand uh, the position of Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead who expands himself into so many different expansions. God is one, but he manifests in so many different forms. First of all, Krishna expands himself as Baladev Prabhu. Huh? Baladev Prabhu is called Akhanda Guru Tattva. That means he is the undivided principle of Guru. All Gurus, actually they are representations of Sri Balaram, Baladev, who has also manifested in this world as Sri Nityananda Prabhu. So, 
Baladev Prabhu, his very name, Bala, Baladev, Balaram, hmm? this means spiritual power, spiritual strength. Huh? No one is able to attain the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of the Godhead and have their relationship with Him without the transcendental support and strength coming from uh, Baladev Prabhu. So, Baladev Prabhu has expanded himself uh, within uh, this material world by so many other expansions, Maha Samkarsha, hmm? the Chaturvyuha expans expansions within Vaikuntha region, coming as Karana Dakashai Vishnu, Maha Vishnu within this material cosmic manifestation, and expanding as Garbho Dakshai Vishnu within every universe, and coming as Kiru Dakshai Vishnu within uh, every atom, within the hearts of all jivas. So, all pervading everywhere is Sri Baladev Prabhu, who is none different than Krishna himself. But Baladev Prabhu, actually, although he is Krishna, he is Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, none different than Krishna in all respects. But uh, he has one mood, and that mood is the mood of servant. He is the first servant of Krishna. Why he wants to uh, manifest as the servant of Krishna? Because the service of Krishna, the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is full of transcendental, ecstatic prem. And that prem ras, that sweet uh, taste of serving the lotus feet of Krishna, it is sought after uh, by every single uh, living being within the entire creation. Not only by every living being, even Sri Krishna himself, he wants to also taste the sweet nectar of this prem. And therefore he manifests as Sri Goranga, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, taking on the mood of Srimati Radharani, his highest servitor. So, Baladev Prabhu expands within the spiritual manifestation uh, as the holy dham, as all the Vaikuntha region, as all the paraphernalia for serving Krishna. His uh, transcendental uh, Shringhasan, uh, all the paraphernalia of his service. Baladev Prabhu is expanding like this. But Baladev Prabhu also has the rasa of Sakya Ras, friendship with Krishna, as cowherd boy. And also he has the mood of Vatsalya Ras, for serving Krishna in that mood as a protective elder brother of Krishna. And even Baladev Prabhu expands himself within the region of Madhurya Rasa uh, to serve Krishna as Ananga Manjari, the younger sister of Srimati Radharani. So in all ways, Baladev Prabhu is serving Krishna and he is the support of the whole principle of this service mood, serving Krishna. Although Guru Tattva is actually none different than the Supreme Lord himself, but he is a transcendental servant of the Lord. Therefore, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has prayed, Sakshad Hari Te Nasamasta Shastra Ruktastata Bhav Yata Eva Sadabhi Kintu Prapuya Priya Eva Tasya Bande Guru Sri Charanar Vinda That the, that the uh, Guru Dev, the principle of Guru Tattva, hmm, he is actually Sakshad Hari. That means direct manifestation of Hari Krishna himself. And all the Shastras, all the great saintly personalities, they are all declaring this fact to be a truth. But they have also expressed Kintu Prapoya Priya Evatasya. He is non different than Hari, but he is in relation with Hari, very dear Priya. Priya Evatasya, most confidential, loving, intimate servitor huh, of Krishna. So, Guru is seen in this way. And actually, Krishna himself has told in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto, when he was speaking to Uddhavaji, he told, 
आचार्य माम विजानियान नवमन्येत कार्हिचित नमर्त्या बुद्ध्या सुयेता सर्वदेव मायो गुरु ओ उद्वा यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड आचार्य माम विजानियान यू शुड नो दैट एक्चुअली आई एम द आचार्य नवमन्येत कार्हिचित यू शुड नेवर डिसरिस्पेक्ट द आचार्य इन एनी वे एट ऑल नमर्त्या बुद्ध्या सुयेता You should never have marti buddhi. You should not think that guru, the acharya, is ordinary uh, living human being of this world, subject to birth and death like all the conditioned souls. And you should never have any suya, any envy toward him. Because in actuality, sarva deva mayo guru, he is the very embodiment of all the devatas. Hmm? Because he is direct manifestation of hari. So Krishna, out of his causeless mercy for all the conditioned souls, oh, he has manifested himself in this material world in two forms: one form, antaryami, and another form, bhakta shreshta. Antaryami bhakta shreshta a dui rup. These two forms, Krishna is manifesting in the heart of every conditioned soul. Krishna is situated there. Hmm? Uh, within the heart as the paramatma this is called antaryami hmm? antaryami means the guru who is within chaitya guru hmm? and he is giving instruction to every jiva soul how to uh, advance and come toward him in their eternal relationship but the conditioned soul he is not equipped he is not able to actually perceive that lord within his heart So therefore, out of his causeless mercy, Krishna manifests externally for the vision of the conditioned soul as a uh, bhakta shreshta. That means the very best, topmost amongst all the bhaktas, and he comes in this form to teach every conditioned soul as the acharya, one who is teaching by his own example. Uh, giving all direction, perfect instruction to the disciple, and teaching by his very own example in his life, living as a bhakta within this world, even progressing, so sometimes coming from nitya siddha position down within this world, one of Krishna's eternal associates coming down within this world, and showing the life, naravat lila, of an ordinary human being, how he is coming, how he is meeting guru. How he is uh, performing bhajan, how he is going through all the stages, uh, and how he is attaining the highest stages of bhav and prem. Uh, but he is the mercy manifestation of Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Kripa Shri Murti, the very form, the very embodiment of the mercy of Krishna. So, if a conditioned soul has the opportunity to meet such personality within this world. Oh, this is his greatest good fortune, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught to Shri Rupa Goswami, hmm? that the conditioned souls they are wandering within the material cosmos. Brahmanda Brahmite Kona Bhagyavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. Hmm? They are wandering and wandering, even within so many planetary systems of the universe. Hmm? Brahmanda Brahmite, but when they become fortunate. Bhagyavan ji, very very fortunate. Oh, then Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. By the mercy of Guru, he by the mercy of Guru, he comes to know about Krishna. By the mercy of Krishna, he meets Guru, and in this way, through Guru, he receives Bhakti Lata Beach, the very seed of pure bhakti within his heart. And by the merciful instructions of Sri Guru Dev, he helps that conditioned soul to become elevated, to come out of illusion, huh? to take full advantage of the human form of life. Nridehamadyam sulabam sudurlabam. It is very rare to get this nrideha, this human body, and this human body. It is like plavam sukalpam guru karana dharam. It is like a very well equipped boat. That one can cross over this whole material ocean. Hmm? So Krishna has arranged 
that Guru can meet with the conditioned soul and give him this seed of bhakti within his heart. And along with that, he receives all the necessary instructions of the Vedas from the mouth of Sri Guru Dev, which is Shabda Brahma, transcendental pure sound vibration, coming from transcendental realization within his heart. And through that Shabda Brahma, that disciple begins to realize Sambandha Gyan, his eternal relationship with Krishna. And then he progresses gradually, gradually, and he comes out of this material condition of life, and he begins to serve Krishna day and night. So this is the uh, blessings of Krishna, the mercy of Krishna, manifested in the form of Sri Guru Dev. And if a conditioned soul takes advantage of this, and he receives the shelter of the lotus feet of such guru, Audo Gurvashrayam, in the very beginning, he comes to guru, and he receives his shelter, he receives all siksha, necessary instruction, he takes diksha, and he serves him with Vishrambena Guru Seva, with Vishramba, very intimate, loving affection and devotion, then all perfection can come to him. And very quickly, within a very short period of time, he will be elevated to his eternal relationship with Krishna. And he will take birth in the eternal abode of Krishna, Goloka Vrindavan Dham. And he'll live there eternally. So there is no one as dear to the conditioned soul as Sri Guru Dev, who is non-different manifestation of Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself. So therefore, our, our Guru Parampara has told, Yasya Prasada Bhagavat Prasado, Yasya Prasada Nagati Gutopi. Without the mercy of Guru, it is not possible to attain the mercy of Krishna, Bhagavat Prasado. Huh? So, if one has the mercy of Guru, then all perfection comes to him. So this is the uh, opportunity available for all the conditioned souls within this world. If they are sincere, if they are fortunate, bhaktistu bhagavad bhakta sangena parijayate. Hmm? By the mercy of the ba Krishna bhakta, they will get bhakti. And by the mercy of the sadhus, through so many lifetimes of sukriti, they will get sadhu sangha. And in that sadhu sangha, they will have the chance to have the shelter of Sri Guru. So this is the course that we can follow, that Krishna has given for the conditioned souls. And we have to learn that we should bow down. Dhyayam stuvam stasya yashastri sangyam bandi guru sri sharanaravindam. We should always bow our heads at the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev and always remember that he is our dear most intimate friend. This is the essence of all the art, bhakti literature. Yes, so hear all these things from the core of your heart and try to follow this. Now I may request both to sing something, Narottam Thakur or anything. You should bring your, or you should Tell them to be. Yeah. Sit on the floor. Keep the door closed. Any new persons can come from the back side. Yeah. Tell them if they come that they should go around the kitchen. Your floor can be maintained. You? Yes. Yes. Brinda, ze kunnen ook in die kamer zitten, dat is beter als ze in die kamer zitten.
the subject is very guru, heavy. You should hear all <coughs> with the core of your heart. First Guru and then Krishna. In this world, we have been deviated by from Krishna. Or whether you accept or not, a thing is true. <laughs> so we are now in this world suffering so much. But we are not realizing this, that we are suffering. Why? We have drunk so in heavy quantity. Din oh, what? Alcohol. Alcohol wine, wine, wine. of Maya. <laughs> so now we are like mad. We are thinking that we are very happy. So try to know. One day we'll have to give up this body and what you have collected in this body. One day you'll have to be surely old, waiting very eagerly to embrace you. Oh, Anyone cannot. Escape. Only Narada was a devotee who has kept set by this Maya. Hmm? and old days. So you are not like Nara. <laughs> you will have to suffer if you will not be careful from me. Now, it has been told in <coughs> oh, Vedas and everywhere. Hmm? And so many examples in our Adam Maharaj has produced. Mm -hmm. That Jasya Prasada, Bhagavat Prasad, not that. Saksat Hari. From Veda. No, no, no. Ved, Ved. Jasya Guru Jasya Devi Paradhati Data Devi Saguru. So, this is how, from the beginning it has been told. Be careful. Jasya Deve Parabhakti. Those who have, those who want to be happy in this world and after that, those who are suffering so much, Especially in the Kali Yuga, they should serve Krishna, Supreme Lord, and not less than Him to Gurudev. Jasya Deve Parabhakti. Here Parabhakti has been told. What is Bhakti? We should know. What is Bhakti? Anya Vilasita Sunya Anya Vilasita Krishna What is the meaning? In very simple language you should tell. Yes. You, you, you. Only the meaning of this is 